This is the SoCal Update. I'm Kara Santa Maria. Getting on a plane sounds like a drag nowadays, so we'll take you on a culinary trip right here in LA to the new and happening Manila District. It's Friday, May 21st. If you're anxiously waiting for the 626 Night Market or other food festivals to make their comeback, you only have to wait till Sunday to get your Pacific Islander fix. Writer Anthony Ocampo tells us more about the Manila District on 7th Street. Anthony? So I grew up in LA, but I actually never heard of the Manila District in downtown LA until one of my friends texted me about it. But there it was, a few miles east of downtown LA, sandwiched between some office buildings and an area with little to no foot traffic. The Manila District was truly born out of the pandemic. Filipino pop-up chefs and vendors who were really making a name for themselves on social media, at Smorgasbord, at the various night markets throughout LA. All of a sudden, when lockdown happened, they had nowhere to post up and continue business. And so high school buds Lauren Delgado and Rayson Esquejo, along with James Santa Maria, famous for throwing LA's biggest Filipino food festival ever, Eat, Play, Move, they launched the Manila District. Every Sunday, they partnered with pop-ups like Lobster Damas, Mano Po, Taste of the Pacific, and Kalaho Catering, which offers an array of ube-flavored desserts. And they just made lemons out of lemonade. Soon other vendors arrived. The Fly Plant Shop, which specializes in indoor and outdoor plants, Parasayo, which specializes in gift sets, Manila Candle, whose scents are reminiscent of smells you'd only smell in the Philippines. Their one requirement is that all vendors had to feature a Filipino-inspired dish or product, which is why they dubbed their weekly Sunday outdoor event as Phil-led market, which stands for Filipino-led market. Mm. Anthony, this is making me so hungry. You all can check out more on the Manila District at kcet.org slash the migrant kitchen. 